fast if you are able to prepare this first five things i can guarantee you you can attempt around 55 to 65 percent of paper which will be there in front of you okay Hello students welcome to manure education in this video we are going to learn about how you should prepare for M maharashtra mca ct and everything you should know about math so whatever you want to know about math for clear for attempting as much possible questions for this mca exam and what is the pattern of this exam what are the different sections okay and we will learn more about maths okay so today the uh, the video will be concerning more or more or less regarding maths okay so 80% we will cover about this and 20% we will cover uh, cover about what is the pattern of the exam what are sections how much number of questions will be appearing and all that things okay so before we start i would like you to tell about maharashtra entrance uh, preparation has been started in our classes so you can avail our online online lectures which are already started so to inquire about this you can call on this number or you can visit this link so if you want to inquire anything about the online classes or test series or any notes and all that stuff you can call on this number or you want to inquire about the classroom preparation you can call on the respective numbers okay so let's rush toward the video so maharashtra mca ct so maharashtra mca ct is generally given for mca exams for the colleges which are there in maharashtra okay so all the maharashtra colleges maharashtra colleges who prepare who provide masters degree in computer application so you have to give this entrance exam to be eligible for that so it will be computer based test as every year it happens it happens in month of march so because of this covid scenario you you can expect that it might get postponed or preponded the notification is not you can say that the exam will appear or uh, happen around march because every year it happens in march okay so the exam will be basically multiple choice questions or uh, multiple choice questions will be there you have to select one of the option so there will be 100 questions so 100 questions each question will have plus 2 marks and the negative marking will be 0.5 okay so the maximum marks which you can score in this exam is plus 200 and the minimum marks you can score in this exam i can say minus 100 so so to uh, to be eligible for this the uh, courses which are pro provided by this exams you have to uh, score as much per, per marks as uh, as much you can score so because this is a merit based system so according to your merit the co colleges will be appear uh, the colleges will be filled the seats will be filled in the colleges and according to that your job uh, job placements and everything will be dependent okay so this 100 questions you have to attempt in 90 minutes so you can say that uh, for each question you have around uh, less than one uh, less than one minute so each question should be attempted in less than one minute so your strategy should be that this 100 questions so if i have a planning that i have to i have to attend minimum 90 questions minimum 90 questions i have to attempt so each question you will have maximum 1 minute to attempt that question so in 1 minute you have to read the question you have to understand the question you have to solve the question and you have to mark the right option okay so this is this uh, this will be only done if you strategize okay if you are not strategizing you will randomly go through the exam you will not be able to attempt more than 50 questions okay if you don't strategize how you have to uh, what topics you have to prepare how much questions i have i have to uh, appear from various sections what chapters i have to prepare i guarantee you the syllabus syllabus is so vast you could not uh, you cannot uh, have, uh, means you cannot solve more than 50 questions okay so it is important that you have a certain strategy when you are preparing for this exam okay then this 100 questions are divided into four sections first is mathematics and statistics next is logical and abstract reasoning third part is english comprehension and the last part is uh, the uh, third part is verbal uh, uh, third part is english comprehension and verbal abilities and the last part is computer concepts so computer concepts basically you don't i don't think so uh, you have to do much preparation for this you uh, already uh, you already have studied uh, this is basically graduation level so uh, this topic uh, this uh, this uh, this marks are very much scoring marks 
which you should definitely score okay you should definitely practice this part and you should definitely secure all the marks which are there in this exam so what are the number of questions which are divided into different sections okay so mathematics and statistics is one of the most major chunk of the questions so 30 questions appear from this question out of 100 plus 2 marks so maximum marks you can score from max is 60 from reasoning same 30 questions and plus 2 marks for right and negative marks for wrong answer okay so maximum marks you can score is 60 similar goes with english comprehension and verbal abilities so 20 questions and computer concepts okay so this computer concept is the scoring part where i i think so you can score all the 100 or 40 100 percent marks that is 40 marks which are available and you can contribute to the total from this section okay so now we will dive deep in mathematics and statistics how you should do so before that we will see what is the syllabus so in mathematics and statistics uh, there is a chapter called algebra so algebra is one of the important topic so in algebra there is algebraic uh, ap gp harmonic progression so these are the important parts binomial theorem permutation and combination so these are the various quadratic equations roots of quadratic equations and all that thing probability and statistics this is for the extension of permutation so in probability uh, binomial theorem and all that things uh, binomial expansion poisson's ratio all that things will be there in the probability probability theory and all that things then in coordinate geometry coordinate geometry there is cartesian coordinate system equations so the coordinate system is basically x axis and y axis on x axis and y axis what are the different figures like this is the circle so what is the equation of this circle this is ellipse so what is the equation of this ellipse and all that things so properties of this various systems and all that things you have to learn that okay then next is mensuration mensuration is basically extension of coordinate geometry wherein you understand the figures their properties in coordinate geometry and then the the formulas formulas for like uh, what what volume they will uh, what volume they will occupy what will be the surface area and all that thing so you should know the formulas and uh, in the concepts about the each uh, properties of each structure and you can easily solve this question okay coordinate geometry i have already covered this okay then differential equation is nothing but calculus which you have already studied in your lower classes so the calculus has very small syllabus like first order second order equations then homogeneous equations its formula then how you can find the roots and all that things then there is a trigonometry in trigonometry you will understand simple uh, simple identities trigonometric equations triangles your know, height distance inverse formulas arithmetic is nothing but quant uh, quantitative maths so you will understand ratio proportion time speed distance and percentage and this this is basically aptitude type of questions which you have uh, have prepared if you have studied for any job entrance aptitude test and all the things and last is sets theory okay so sets relations functions all that functions you have to study how what are the different type of sets all that things okay so what i can say is there are total eight topics in maths okay so you can uh, you can say that if you study these eight chapters you can you can definitely uh, saw able to solve all the questions from this section but this is not the right approach because you don't know what are your strengths what are their weakness what concepts you are not able to understand so what most of the students do is uh, the base, uh, basically in most if you go for various uh, reference reference books like Aryan and all that thing you can see all the reference books and most of the last year papers uh, will have sets theory by the way before starting the uh, before starting preparation what you have to do is you have to go uh, go for last 10 years NIMSAT papers because MCA uh, exam papers will be not available NIMSAT papers will be available online you should go and from what topics what number of questions are the, there uh, from what topics what type of questions appear so if you have the bifurcation from which topic which how much in number of uh, number of questions are there appearing so you can more easily strategize your preparation okay so if you want i can further explain that like for example if i want to uh, if I, I want to prepare start a preparation for mca exam or if uh, means we start the uh, we, how we start the preparation here like we will go with calculus first okay calculus will be done first because this is a very a sm very small topic and very easy topic and there are standard type of questions which appear from this exam 
uh, which appear from this topic so you can uh, learn a uh, very small small topic easy topic and standard question okay then next i will go with trigonometry so trigonometry is uh, similar it will have a very standard type of questions which will be appearing okay so if you understand various tricks which are there from this topic you can easily solve the questions which appear from trigonometry okay then this is the aptitude type so this this you have to do first okay before before doing the differential calculus you should start with arithmetic okay so this will be third and this will be first because this is the basic basics of maths you should know ratio proportion what is ratio proportion how percentage is calculated how you can calculate percentage pass what is speed maths so these are very basic concepts of maths so you should be aware of this concept before stepping into the advanced part okay so all the other things are advanced this is uh, basically a beginner stuff so the uh, you, uh, this will be also useful for any other entrance exams if you are if you are preparing for them but this is very beginner stuff and all the other part is advanced maths okay so first you should go with after your arithmetic okay ratio proportion you should cover this part as fastly as possible you should learn tricks to solve these questions you should understand the concepts and definitely the good chunk of questions will appear from this part okay you can expect around 4 to 5 questions from this part okay so the good chunk of questions will appear from this part and there will be they will be very easy and very fast they will be very time saving so you can use various tricks to solve these questions okay then what we will do is i will go for algebra okay so in algebra in algebra what we will do is algebra we will do ap gp arithmetic progression binomial theorem permutation combinations various how to solve various find roots of various quadratic equations and all that thing so this is uh, this is a very big part like algebra and probability these are the two be, uh, uh, have the huge portion but uh, the major chunk of questions will appear from this part okay so basically probability and statistics is extension of the permutation and combination part so major chunk of questions you will appear from this part if you are able to prepare this first five things i can guarantee you you can attempt around 55 to 65% of paper which will be there in front of you okay so at least when when you cover at least this five topics you will be able to attempt more than 60 uh, 60% of the questions which will be there in the uh, in the maths in uh, in the maths section for mca exam next you will go to the quadratic geometry section so in quadratic geometry section you will understand how the quadratic system what are the cartesian systems okay how what are the different properties of various figures like circle what are the properties of circle what are the properties of parabola hyperbola what are properties of different lines and various quadratic all the things okay then then you can move to mensuration so uh, coordinate geometry was 6 then you can go to mensuration which is the seventh part so in co coordinate geometry you can uh, basically there will be formulas which you have to know and from formulas there will be some kind of percentage or some kind of shortcut percentage and ratio shortcut which you have to know so if you know this percentage and ratio shortcuts you can easily solve this type of question okay and then last you will go to the set theory why i go uh, why uh, why i tell you to go on the set theory at the last because uh, for set theory the question appear there are from different multiple topics like the question from algebra will be combined with the set means to define a set there will be they will use the algebraic equation you will have to find roots so for that you have to know the concepts from algebra you have to know the concepts from trigonometry and all that things so rather than jumping on the topics if you follow this sequence you will be able to attempt more number of questions and you, uh, you will have a proper sequence while preparing for your exam when you are preparing for maths okay so this uh, this uh, that's all for today for any further information just subscribe to our channel if you have any doubts if you have any queries you can mention in the comment section i will be more than happy to answer your doubts and your questions so uh, the last reminder if you want to inquire about anything given below you can call on this number you can visit our website and uh, for classroom preparation you can give a call on this number okay and the pune branch is coming soon so if you want to inquire about pune branch you can give call on this number 
and you can inquire about this okay so all the other students who are there in mumbai they can call on these numbers respectively and uh, thank you for listening and we will meet in next